is Therese, one mother and one daughter, and I'm here with the third addition to the Cricut Halloween Treat Boxes. So this box is the tombstone from Happy Haunting, and the number is M391A3. All the information, the um, dimensions and everything will be at the bottom in the description box so that you can make this if you so choose to. So, this box is, like I told you in the last two videos, is sized to fit an 8 and a half by 11 size paper. And I'm not going to have to show you. Let me show you guys on how you're going to have to, because it's not right out on the paper. This is the way. This is the way I did my paper. I put my paper in here. And then I had to turn. When you when you put your... Let me put this up so you can see. When you place your paper to be cut, you're not going to keep it like this because you see it'll go over the lines. Can you see? It'll go over your paper. When you go to cut your shape, you're going to turn your shape like this so that it could fit within your eight and a half by 11 and you can get the most out of your paper if you're making anything else i'll suggest you use cuts you know put your images around this so that you could use up as much paper as possible but like i told you guys i'm trying to use up this crappy paper that i got from scrapbooking.com yeah i got some crappy paper i'm, I'm let me just say that I, I, it's crappy to me because i thought that it would be a thicker cut and that it wouldn't be so flimsy, but it's not, it's not like recollection paper, or what's the other paper we use? The white one we use the color. I can't remember that name. It's not thick at all. It's just not what I thought it would be, so let me stop saying that it's crappy. Um, it's just not, it's very, very flimsy. It comes in all these colors in one pack, but it's still flimsy. So, as you can see, I am using the score lines on that on the paper that the that the you know that the stylus made and I am reinforcing them with my stylus and again like I said I will not be putting any decorations on here because let's say it together they're just going to throw it away because all they want is the candy they just want the candy so, again, this is another really easy box, and it folds up like so, and then there are these lines on each side. Can you see them? I want you to see the score lines. You can actually see it. You can actually see the score lines. So, sometimes you may have to use your scoreboard to reinforce them so that you can get a good indication, but for this, I don't think you have to. They fold down really good, and you can see them. So, now what we're going to do is put some wet glue. We're going to use wet glue for this and put it on these little teeny tiny flaps. Can you see that? So, if you feel like you want to decorate your box, you can do that. You can bring it all out and put spider webs and such on them. But like I keep telling you guys, I will not be doing that. If I use these boxes, which I probably won't because I'm not doing the Halloween thing this year. You know, Tati is big. Once you get a certain age, you don't go trick-or-treating. You go to Halloween parties. So... I'm doing this to use up my paper and show you guys that there are some cute treat boxes on that design space. These flaps are so little. Well, either my hands are so big. I'm trying to get them down. If I put it down like this, it'll be better. Just make sure you go to the edge. Yeah, that works out better. That way you can go inside and rub it down. Look, <laughs> it still came up. Let's do this side. I put enough adhesive on it for it to stick. Okay. 
Let's put that inside. Right at the edge. Yeah, so these boxes don't take long at all. They're really quick. And, I mean, you can deck them out. Or you can use some cute paper. Or you can use your stamps to decorate the outside of it. Get some of those stickers that you got that someone gifted to you or sent to you. In a, in a rack. This is the perfect time to use that. Those ones you don't know. What what am I going to do with these stickers? Oh, those Dollar Tree stickers? That would be really good. Okay, so then the top has these little flaps right here for you to connect the box. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just push them down like so. Now, I did try to spruce it up a little bit. And I got a bat. Put some glitter on it. And put some rhinestone eyes. So... There it is. That is the Tombstone Box from Happy Haunting. That is number m 391 a I will put the link. If you have a, a Cricut Design Space, I will put the link for it so you can cut it out like this. Or you can go and get it yourself. And just really quick, let me see what size this measures. I mean, you can get a good piece of good bit of candy inside of there. You can see inside of this is You don't want to... Pay the dentist. Keep the dentist rich. Unless one of y'all are dentists. You like give them that candy. Uh, three inches. That is good. Three inch box. Let me see. I got a little candy over here. I got a little candy. I got some candy. Put some candy in there. Ooh. That's three butterscotch. Come on. You could get a good bit of candy in there. Without giving these kids. Sending them to the dentist. Because damn if you don't need your teeth. So. Anyway. This is Cerise with one mother and one daughter, and um, I'm out. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and share and leave a comment to know that I, that you stopped by. Just, you know, just say hi, or just put a thumbs up or a smiley face or something, and I know you watched the video. So, um, yep, Cerise with one mother, one mother, one daughter, I'm out.